In this video, I will be testing out Armorall Original Protectant and 303 Aerospace Protectant on vinyl. Armorall is typically found in automotive, while 303 is often found in boating and marine stores. Both advertise being safe for use on vinyl and state it protects the material from UV light, fading, discoloration, and staining. In general, they advertise keeping the material looking new. They have nearly identical marketing, down to the same marketing flaw of stating non-greasy on the front of the bottle. By saying that, it immediately makes me wonder, are these kind of protectants typically greasy? Are these just less greasy? It makes me want to avoid them. The 303 at least advertises drying to a smooth matte finish on the back of the bottle. They both warn against using on traction surfaces, such as floors, steering wheels, grips, and pedals, as well as against using on clear plastics, such as gauge windows and headlights. In the video so far, I have been cutting numerous swatches of vinyl for testing. I tried to get quite the rainbow assortment of materials, as the test would not be very decisive if I didn't find a material that fades. Many of these materials will likely hold up just fine without treatment. I have also included clear vinyl despite the warning against clear plastics. After cutting out all my sample swatches, I thoroughly clean both sides of each and every sample with isopropanol. I use the rubbing alcohol because it should not leave any residue that might interfere with the protectants. I have three swatches of each color, one for the 303, one for the Armor All, and one as a control group that I will not treat with either protectant. With the swatches now clean and dry, it is time to apply the protectants. Both suggest wetting a microfiber cloth with the protectant and rubbing it onto the material, followed by wiping the surface completely dry. I go through the tedious process of treating each side of the swatches. I have placed a sheet of aluminum foil down to keep the protectants off the table. I swap both my gloves and the aluminum foil between the 303 and Armor All applications. The control set stays in its baggie the whole time. With the swatches now treated, I set them up outside for exposure. From left to right, the samples are 303, Armor All, and the control. I leave half of each sample under a brick. This will serve double duty of holding the samples in place as well as shadowing half of each sample from the sun. I need to shadow part of each sample so that I have a direct point of comparison to evaluate UV protection. The samples are situated on my back patio where they will get approximately 6 hours of Florida sun each day. I leave the samples outside for 2 weeks. I do so because 303 states that it should be reapplied every 30 to 45 days for the best UV protection. I figured waiting less than half of that duration would tell me how it was going. With the exposure complete, I gather the samples and immediately wash them in very hot water with colorless and odorless dish soap, followed by a thorough rinse. I have brought the samples back in and lined them all up on the bench. Each row represents one of the test sets. Comment below if you think you know which is which. The first thing I noticed when lining them up is the pink, red, and orange swatches have all begun to fade. The orange vinyl has done so quite severely. The light gray vinyl and the translucent frosted white vinyl show some pink staining picked up from the bricks. The light gray vinyl also shows some mildew growth. A final observation is that the clear vinyl was turning milky where it was under the brick. This milky discoloration has since disappeared, suggesting it might have something to do with the increased humidity of being under the brick and has since dried out. However, the most notable and surprising discovery here is the complete lack of difference between the three rows of swatches. I was very surprised to see that all three rows show staining, all three rows show fading, and all three rows show mildew. The amount of fading in the three rows aren't even different. Now I know the camera is going to play some tricks here, but there is also no difference between the surface sheen or hand feel of the three rows either. But you will just have to take my word. With results like that, it really doesn't matter which row is which, but the 303 is the top row, armor all the middle row, and the control group is the bottom. This result shocked me so much that I figured I should try one more thing. Both 303 and Armor All warn about applying too much, state all excess should be removed, and not to apply it too often. So I decided to try the complete opposite. After cutting, cleaning, and drying three more samples of the light gray vinyl, I place them each in a clean bowl. I then pour in enough of the 303 and Armor All to submerge each sample. For the control sample, I submerge it in distilled water as water is the main ingredient of both 303 and Armorall. 
The 303 is notably a very homogeneous milky solution, while the Armorall only is after shaken, but quickly separates. I cover each bowl with cling wrap and leave them for two weeks. Periodically, I would come swirl the contents of each bowl. After two weeks, just like before, I took the samples out and thoroughly washed them. Notably, none of the samples discolored or turned stiff. The Armor All samples seemed a bit greasier than the other two, but otherwise, they all felt very similar. So, it seems that the Armor All Original Protectant and the 303 Aerospace Protectant do not harm vinyl. This shouldn't be too surprising. If a product did the opposite of what it advertised, it would not be around very long. Armor All has been on sale since 1972, and 303 since 1980. However, as far as actually providing any protection, I doubt they do much. Anyone familiar with sunscreen will know they wear off quickly, or break down quickly in UV light, and that is after being applied quite liberally. A substance that is applied and then mostly wiped off can't possibly do much, let alone protect something for weeks. So, what I can ultimately say is if you like the look Armor All or 303 gives vinyl, then you are probably safe to use it, knowing it won't be these protectants that cause any damage. Any degradation observed is likely coming from a different source. I hope my video has piqued your interest. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can buy a t-shirt from the link in the description. Thanks for watching.